risky. Sickly. Sickly. I'm going with hair transplant. Oh, 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 right. Nice going, Lori. Wow. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Andy. <laughs> and I'm Paul. And these are our families. Uh, Lori, Zach, <laughs> and Nina. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Paul and I are hosts of a video podcast called Game Break, and we're here to say hi to you <laughs> and to uh, introduce some games and just um, tell you a little bit about our podcast as well. That's right. We've introduced our families to you, and we're going to show you some family ideas. For yeah, us. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right. What... Uh, what I've heard recently yes, we've heard. is uh, that this is uh, coming up on National Games Week. It probably is. Yeah. So I, I went out and I did a little research what about did, National what did you Games find Week. Out? I want to learn. And uh, it's, it's a very fun time. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's part of the name, and you know. I, uh, but um, it's uh, this this the week of Thanksgiving okay. is uh, this this little segment of time where families tend to get together because it's holiday season yeah when we can stand each other and <laughs> we uh they play games and yeah. so what a great time to celebrate national games week that's right it's right? a great invention it was invented not that long ago How in long 2004 ago? by a guy by the name of mark simmons he okay. used to run a magazine called games quarterly okay and when they first started up nationals national games week it was a big deal, and they had game manufacturers involved, and they had prizes, and people would participate all around the country. But unfortunately, that's not happening as a big deal anymore, but it's still on Wikipedia as being this week. So I can look <laughs> it up if I want to on Wikipedia and learn all right. about that. And they, you the know, they're making efforts to bring it back and yeah. revive it, and there was a fan group that tried to do it for a while, while okay. after the magazine went out of business. and But... I think it's a great idea. Well, it's also true that traditionally it just naturally worked out that this week really is a time when you are with your family and therefore you're going to break out some games, whether it be traditional Monopoly or other games of 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. You're going to have this kind of time together, so why not play games while you're together? That's right. I'm so I can see. I'm surprised Germany doesn't have like its national game week. Type That's of true. Thing. A lot, a lot oh. of the great games that we like to talk about on our podcast yeah. are these German games. And yeah, but of course um, they have a game of the year. It's a, it's a. <laughs> well, that's true. It's a um, American holiday being Thanksgiving, so. Right. I no, think that's, that's why it's celebrated all across America, and right. and the traditional, you know, normal Norman Rockwell kind of painting ideas of family get-togethers and so forth is all an aspect of what we're doing. Oh, is there an actual Norman Rockwell painting of people playing games? There should uh, be. I, if there is, we're going to find one. <laughs> it's going to be right in front right of your face. There, right, right now. <laughs> if there's not, I don't know what's going to be in front of your face, but that's all right. We'll figure it out. All right. Um, I was just thinking, then, then uh, Thanksgiving week doesn't work so great as International Games Week. That's true. But yeah. we might have to start something there. Yeah. But, <laughs> anyway, oh, there's, an, there's also a National Games Day. Yes. When but is that? That was actually this, this past uh, weekend Which on Saturday. The American that? Library Association put it together. Oh, the 13th was it? Is I, think it I think it might have been so Saturday two, two the 13th. Week, two weekends ago, really. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I don't know if it's a yearly plan okay. or not, but the, the idea was that they would get a lot of people into libraries right. to play video games were and make really, it the biggest video game tournament. Were they really quiet games? No, I'm sure they were loud. Oh, really? <laughs> the only day when librarians let loose. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So I think it was like Wii games and whatnot. Mm. And uh, I know that some libraries had also a board games part oh, of what nice. they were doing. Yeah, okay. So a good way to get people to the libraries yeah. and a fun time. And I, you know, I think it's good ideas for family games yeah. and whatnot. Okay. What not? I say what not. <laughs> um, Why not? <laughs> because. So. Um, I don't need my cards anymore today. All right. No, no, we're all done with that for okay. the moment. We're just taking a little pause. This is a good here. game, though. This apples to apples, I think, is pretty cool. This is a great family game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is this one of your favorites? Uh, yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. What would you give it on a scale games. of one to ten? <laughs> 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 I have to come up with one of those for every game review we do on That's the true. podcast, so it seems just fair. That, uh, 
Well, I guess I'm not as picky as you are, so I give it a 10. Whoa! Oh, this is a wow. great family game. All right, it looks like we're going to be playing this That's one. very rare for those of you who <laughs> yeah. have already seen our podcast. Yeah, he won't even give anything a 10. <laughs> I gave something a 9.5 and rounded it up yeah, to exactly, a 10. Yeah. I think it was the best I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, we're not as persnickety as you. Know. Well, but There's this... a word for you, persnickety. Yeah. Look that up on Wikipedia. <laughs> what? You can't. If the definition is not already showing at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Indeed, indeed. More work See, I wonder if it's in here somewhere. So, for yes. so it's not actually National Game Week right now, but you know what? I, I tend to think of this whole part okay. of the year as yeah. being... Well, it might be National Game Week, depending on when you're watching this. <laughs> but we, I like to think of this whole this, part of the year time, you know? yeah, yeah. Right, as gaming season. Yes. Um, because season to play games. families are coming to visit, whether yeah. it be for Thanksgiving or Christmas or other holiday that occurs around Christmas. That's right. <laughs> Chris Mahana Kwanzaa or something yeah, like that. They're it. all there. <laughs> yeah. um, and people come, you know, visit. We got the whole family thing going on. But then also, at least in northeastern United States, yeah. uh, we have lots of oh, snow. With all the snowy uh, weather here, it's just nice to get out of the cold and stay warm. And be with family and so forth, you know, by the fireplace or, you know, by the torch lamp or whatever you oh. got. <laughs> um, yeah. And so, that brings about so, that brings about the kind um, of family conflict that you want to have on a holiday season. <laughs> it's good family <laughs> conflict. Right, right. So I was just thinking, like, what what games do you remember playing? Anyone here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> from the holiday seasons when you were growing up, or as you are growing up, or yeah. or, <laughs> or or whatever. Wow. What what do you guys remember? Well, Trivial Pursuit is yeah. always a big one. Yeah, yeah, we do break that out quite often. Yeah. And it seems to be we've got like three or four variations, and there's always someone who wants to play a certain variation of Trivial Pursuit. Mm -hmm. And it's I like, like to play the team. Young Players Edition. <laughs> I have a chance of knowing more. Answers. Answer all the questions. <laughs> Well, how many versions do we have? We have yeah, like Disney, versions. Star Wars, yeah. we have the traditional one, the, the, the original, and then the 20th anniversary mm -hmm. one. So, Lots of triple loaded. pursuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. loaded with so that's endless fun. I like, a, I, like a game, I like a game called Payday. I haven't played that in quite a long time. Oh, wow. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. yeah. That was an old used to one. play that as a kid? Yeah. yeah, yeah that's, that was, yeah. That was Did a you guys game. play Life? Were you always disappointed that you didn't get real money from it? Yeah, never right. <laughs> I never did play Life. No. I, not as a kid. I'm thinking of games, mm -hmm. you know, in the holiday life. season. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Did well, you like that? Do you like that game? It's <laughs> all right. All right, let's go. It's all right I mean, for a small child. Then. <laughs> <laughs> you like putting the pegs in the cars and driving them around. Yeah, exactly. That's really what it's all about. Yeah, you, you, I think there's a like spinning something. There's a couple of choices yeah. in the game of life, right? You spin things and it tells you where to go pretty much, but you get to choose whether to go to college, you get to choose what color pegs to put in your car, <laughs> and you get to choose like whether you want to risk it all at the end and retire as a millionaire or something like that. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason I didn't play it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a whole. But I played, I played it Mouse is Trap. Really fun yeah, game. I was just going to say Mouse that. Mouse Trap, yeah. Oh, and that Sorry. That's Remember yeah, Sorry. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did you? What, what were you? What did, what did you do with the holiday times? Um, puzzles. Yeah. Oh yeah. How did that work? Um, we just opened up a puzzle and then anybody could just stop by the table and. The That's whole... great, because you can leave it out for the yeah. whole couple of days that people are hanging around each right. other and just everybody's like, ah, I found that piece. Why well, yeah. do all have cats oh, that yeah. eat the pieces? Oh yeah. No, oh we jump man. Jump on the table and or, scatter them all. Over the or cats that slide across the table. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, just start. Uh, oh, insert no. another video clip here. Oh, oh no, all right. Uh, <laughs> Can't wait to and see then, that. I'm assuming you have that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, we, uh, I, I like the idea of grazing on a puzzle. If you can leave it out like that, that you can just be yeah. like, oh, I'm tired of this. And then come back. Yeah. And then, but then, but then, wasn't there something about the, 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 the last couple of pieces? Oh. oh, we did have a family tradition. Really? Tell us. <laughs> Sometime while you're putting the puzzle together, we take a piece and keep it. Oh. And then it gets to be the end of the, putting the end of the puzzle in, yep. and then, oh no, there's not enough pieces, and everyone's looking around. And... <laughs> Oh, no. you Usually someone take the has piece. the piece. <laughs> so it's a family tradition to stress everybody out like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sounds like fun. And that's why most of our puzzles are missing. Because <laughs> those people kept the pieces. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> and they could still have a frame somewhere. You probably went through the laundry. <laughs> and... 1987, you know, and there's the piece. You know, this is the one I kept that year. <laughs> 1989. You know what's cool, though? If you do have a problem with cats, you, you've seen those mats, those flexible mats that you can do puzzles on and then just roll them up when you're... Mm -hmm. you know, when Hit you, the cat? What do you mean? No. <laughs> Hello, cat. Hey. No, it just keeps the puzzle intact. Oh, you don't have to worry oh, about oh, cats going oh, after oh. the pieces. Okay. Uh, that's good. <laughs> um, so, Sorry. <laughs> Apologize Husband. to the cat, not us. Right. Another Sorry. great game. No, not that great of a game. Well, what is it? Sorry. Oh, that's uh, right. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we yeah. had we as we've done our podcast, we've yeah. we've come along with a lot of games uh, that we've reviewed. It's yeah. one of the things that's because, part of our podcast. Yeah, our podcast kind of consists of really talking about the games we've played for the week with some friends and some family, and then the review comes into play, and we try to review. A full game or have a theme mm -hmm. like each episode has some kind of a theme and uh, it's true that when we review a game we try to get into like what the mechanics of it the playability mm -hmm. of it the psychology behind it whether we think it's fun for you know younger older whatever mix of mm -hmm. folks um, you know is it chewable we don't, we don't, read, we don't read it on that <laughs> scale but we delve into we it should. and that all comes together yeah, we should. <laughs> that all comes together with a final score which Andy is the judge for the, the final score you because see he's persnickety that's right persnickety. That's why. you gotta be persnickety right. to be the judge so what kind of games I like to call it detail oriented that's good <laughs> yes we, we know it's so, right. because you're, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so some of the games that we've had on the show that might be good holiday games here okay. is we have a, a game called Cluzzle Ah, the clay game. You like the clay game? It was kind of fun. There you go. It's you can hold fun. on to that one, man. <laughs> cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. And part of the part of the gist of Cluzzle is that you try to make little clay representations of your secret word, yes. but don't make them too easy to figure out what they are. Yeah. So that Which is why I always lose because I can never figure out what other people's stuff. Right, because if they make them too hard, they don't get points for that either. So you right. want them, people to guess them. But not before the game is over. I think over. Uh, on our episode, I made a boat. It was hard to figure out. I and mean, what was your thing? I think it was a musical note. It was a musical <laughs> note. Yes. <laughs> it, I thought it was neither a one of us figured out. It was a out. hockey stick. Yeah, that's, yes. that's hilarious. <laughs> so that was one. Um, another game that we uh, put on the show was um, this was I think in an episode about games that for people who were not artistically inclined. Right. Actually, they were both on the same episode. They were, but, the non-artist. Uh, yeah. Luck of the draw. Yeah. In this case, you rate your drawings on uh, different categories. So yes. people draw the same thing, put them into the middle secretly, and then you flip them up, and then you try to figure out which one is the squiggliest, or yeah. which one is the, um, you know, what else? Uh, I'm trying to think of the other categories. There's a bunch There of was even ones. a category that said which one was not... Drawn well? I don't know if they use those words. Yeah, right. Or something like that, so that someone who really, you know, isn't a drawer would succeed at that yeah. particular instance. Yeah. So, yeah. Or m most three-dimensional. Well, oh, that was one. That's right. Or that's right. Um, you know, use the most lead. You know, yeah. stuff like, there's all kinds of different categories yeah. and things. So that's that interesting. Yeah, we fun. reviewed that on the same episode. And, right. uh, Here's one. Really cool. Zendo. Ah, I like Zendo a lot. Me too. You guys like oh, Zendo? Oh, you like Zendo too? I like yeah. Zendo. Yeah. Oh, too much brain power for me. Yeah. Three out of five. I like to call this one like. Mastermind Quite. for crazy people or something like yeah. that. Right. Uh, and this one, this one's funny because it's the game with the Buddha nature because yes. it has a it has a Zen theme. But basically, you build little structures out of these triangular pieces. Yeah, it's koans. And then, yes, koans. koans. That's what they're called. They are. And uh, they're very colorful. And you try to figure out the rule that makes them right or wrong. Koanish. No, this uh, <laughs> has the Buddha nature. Oh, has the Buddha nature. Sorry. It yeah. has a Buddha nature if and only if. It's featured in a podcast called Game Boy. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, let's see. So that was a good one. Yeah. Pull something else out. Oh, right. okay. Oh. Here we go. You want this one? Oh, yeah, Liar's Dice. Oh, there we go. This is the same oh, game, actually. Same Liar's game? Dice oh, and, and Bluff. Bluff. Yeah. yeah. Or you might also see it called Perudo. Okay. Uh, you can see it in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. They played it, but they played with uh, years of service instead of... Uh, yeah. Chips. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Because I haven't actually seen that that movie to know. I just heard it was in there somewhere. They actually sell a version that's Pirates of the Caribbean themed. Is um, it really? Okay. Yeah, does it look more like this one, or does it look more like the Liar's Dice version, or, or totally different than either of these two? I think they look similar to both of them. They're nice. they're about the same, but I think they have All neatly right. themed pirate cups. Oh, okay. Could you hide your dice under? Dice under. Okay. <laughs> and um. 
So, but but the gist of this game is you roll you roll dice under cups, and then you secretly know uh, how many are on a side, uh, how many of a particular side there are, yeah. and then you you make a claim about how many there are under everybody's cups. Yeah. And they can either challenge you or increase the bid and say there's more of something else, and you keep going around until people say, no, I don't believe you, and then there's a part where you challenge, count the actual number, yeah. and, and wait, people wait. get eliminated as they lose the dice in the game. People get eliminated as they lose the dice in the game? Is That's that right. <laughs> That's right. All right, cool. I love it. Uh, wow. and, and then, but eliminated in a nice, fun way, because they come right, you come right back and yes, play it you, again. you bounce back in these games. All right, this one's interesting. Say, Say anything. anything. Yeah. Yes, this is sort of like apples to apples, except you're yeah. not limited as to what's on the cards. Yeah, you, you write in your own thing on these blank sheets, or they're actually yeah. plastic things, and yeah. This I played a few a couple years ago. You brought it to a friend's margarita party or something. Woo! It was the first time I played oh. it, and, and it was fantastic. I thought it was really a clever game because it has so much open endedness to it, yeah. and you really get engaged. People are and then are, people bet on what yes, that person's going right, to do because that's the other thing. If, if yeah. apples to apples included betting on what the person was actually going to pick, yeah. it would be a lot more like how this runs. Right. Yeah. Right. These guys also did another game called Wits and Wagers that involves betting on trivia answers. And that's oh, cool. fun. You're right. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and then there is one more game there. Yeah, yeah. Right? What is this? This, one's, this one seemed a little iffy, so I saved Why? it for last. It's oh, called Kill Doctor Lucky. It's got the word kill in it. <laughs> it doesn't seem very family friendly, but it says right, right on the box this what? is a family board game of murder in the dark. And it's got a kooky looking picture on it there. Like that. <laughs> yeah. You can almost think All of right. this one like reverse clue. Mm. Yes. Instead of trying to figure out who killed the That's right. main character, the you are yeah. trying to kill. This you are the killer. Very well, we did review this on our first episode, <laughs> and that's that. It turned out to be pretty an interesting, uh, an interesting way we did it too. So, uh, I think we even got kind of confused about the rules ourselves. Oh, probably. Yeah. Almost yeah. every game, yeah. it's it's only right for right. every game to have one rule wrong the first time yes. you play. It. <laughs> I make that it takes, a special and it practice. It definitely takes the pressure off because then you don't have to feel you know, tight about, oh, we did something wrong, we gotta right. go back. But then you have it. an excuse to play it again so exactly. you can play it with the right rule. <laughs> exactly. That's cool. That's but anyway, cool. Kill Dr. Right. Lucky is uh, is a game where all, it, it's nice because you can have up to seven players playing it too. Good. And they all go around the board and when you when Dr. Lucky comes into your house of the mansion, you have a chance to play like one of your little weapon cards. Oh, and kill it. It's all cute. No, it's cute. But you have to be prepared. I, from and what I remember, all the other players try to prevent you. And and I also remember you have to be prepared so that you are in that room that Dr. Lucky is about to enter into. Right. So you can so move you around can the move, board in yes, various ways, prepared. and even move Dr. Lucky around the board yeah. in various ways. Yes. yes. And. Um, so, anyway, so that's, that's a another game check that out, we recommended on our show. Check out that review on our show on our episode one. Yep. Yeah. So, um, let's yeah, just tell them about nice. how they can find our show sure. outside of yeah. wherever this is. Certainly. And, um, There's certainly a few places. Now, we will tell you the main place, and that is our website, and that's GameBreakPodcast.com. Mm -hmm. In there are a bunch of other links that kind of show you these other places, like we have a Facebook group. Yeah. So you could just go to Facebook and do the Facebook. What is it called on Facebook? Uh, it's just slash Game Break Podcast for the for the, for the, address. For the address. Or you just right. search for Game Break. That's right. And yeah. it shows right up. Um, friend us there or like us there. Mm -hmm. uh, what's another place? Well, uh, they, they can subscribe to us on iTunes. That's right. We're on iTunes. Yeah. Uh, search again for Game Break. We should come right up. And yeah. Categories? Um, I mean, under a certain gaming category? What's under games sort of tradition? Or it's not traditional, but it's other games. I okay, think they call but it. definitely searching on the name seems Searching to be on the name is a great way to find us. Game Break, one word, no space. There you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, and, and also on our page, you can comment there and... Yep. and uh, and also get an audio-only version if you don't like looking at it. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of audio, if you'd like to call us, you can even call our, our hotline. Oh, right, we have a feedback number. And, That's yeah, right. It's in the show. And you know, there it is right there. And it's in the show. We review it all the time. I never remember what it is, so that's why it's right here. <laughs> yeah. There, there, just did a little something for us. Right. <laughs> Again. <laughs> see? Okay. Yeah, see, because I edit the show. We shoot it here, and we actually shoot it downstairs, and in his... In the, fortress the fortress of Game of Thrones. <laughs> he came up this with that is name. Zach that found that yeah, we talk about him in episode about seven. We mentioned that you yes. came up with the name of our fortress of Game of Thrones. Yes, which is right. funny because I had friends down there and I forgot the name of <laughs> what, what we yeah, called he brings, it. So. He brings friends over and shows them my sideshow of a, of a basement. Oh, <laughs> and they all say, like, man, what's up with your Every single there? one of their faces is just like... <laughs> 
<laughs> you have a lot of games. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, I have a lot Grounding. of problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also have a lot of game nights over here at the house, which is pretty fun. And right. uh, we're going to show, Man, you, want to show a little footage of that. Yeah, sure, here you go. We're looking at some game nights. Wow, there. you got a lot of work to do. Well, All right, so bad. we better right. we better cut this off so All that right. you can get to editing this and, yeah. and we can get back to our game. Uh, All right, let's see. Where's my mine? stuff? These are mine. All right, everybody get your cards. <laughs> All right, whose turn is it next? It's my mom's. All right, All right here we go. Oh. You're leaning because you want Oh, oh, yeah, oh everyone has got to grab one. Okay. Yeah, my card. Frazzled. Frazzled. Exhausted, sprayed, worn. Tornadoes. Funnel shaped. Clap. <laughs> Funnel shaped clouds. What do you have in there? You say ew at me. Well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I have a spot on my retina. Because as I think. Uh, you, get, you get down to the end of the dice and. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut that again. <laughs> well, what I want to say is that... I'm going with tornadoes. Yay! Is that yours? I don't know. Was it? Who's this tornado? This is by process of elimination. You was it yours? You just randomly throw a card in. Yeah, that's what it did for the first round. Sure. I'm up to the, you know... You didn't even choose it. I didn't choose it. Yay, I won. Right, it's yeah. well written. Our cat is... Oh, is that what that is? Is oh, that the cat? <laughs> the cat's what do you do? The cat.